Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna rear end you. Oh shit, I just Jimmy Johnson did. Fuck! I'm trying not to get a black flag penalty. Greetings, I'm Smithers, and we're four races into my 2007 chase for the Sprint Cup in my NR 2003 career mode. Round five is right in the backyard of these race teams. We're heading to Charlotte Motor Speedway, but with an additional twist that wasn't executed until 11 years into the future in 2018. That's right, I brought the Roval onto the schedule. Had to race some Gen 4 cars on this track in this series while I can. But before I can do that, let's look at some stories to follow along for this race. NASCAR is carved tomorrow which has been seen on numerous amounts of short tracks and road courses this season makes its first appearance on a plate style oval. No one went airborne is fully expected with this new wing design. The race went caution free until the final lap. Dale led the field out of turn four and had about a car length on both lanes. Gordon in the 24 was hard charging on the outside. Smithers in the number 10 slid up into Gordon and spun in the 24. He made a heavy contact with the inside wall ending the race under caution and getting Dale another Talladega win. Dale Earnhardt gets victory number 11 at Talladega Super Speedway. Dale Sr. has been running on a part-time schedule only during the COT races this season to help with development with his input from these races. In victory lane last week, Dale Sr. told reporters something that sent a rave through the garage. He hinted at a possibility of returning full-time for one last championship run before deciding on the future of DEI. Qualifying's over with, the starting grid is all lined up, ready to go. The grandstands are packed to the brim, every seat has a butt in it, and the Tums heartburn turn is set, ready to go for any of these drivers to make a mistake, lock it up, and set it into the tire wall there in turn one. Tony Stewart in the number 20, Home Depot Chevrolet gets your pull today. Kyle Busch in the Hendrick number five on the outside of row number one. Row number two is completely filled by Hendrick drivers, Gordon and Johnson, and uh, got some Penske guys, other Joe Gibbs, Roush cars up there. A lot of Chase contenders qualified pretty well. We're we're in the top 10 as well, got a damn good qualifying run. I'm using the custom setup that was given along with this custom track. This is Charlotte Roval 2019 uh, BBMC. I'll leave a link for the download um, in the description down below. As I said, I'm using the custom setup given to me. I tweaked it just a little bit. I evened out the track bar in the rear end of the race car, and I also tightened up the um, the wedge just like a .2 rounds. It was a little bit loose for me on the uh, infield of the track. I was kind of sliding around a little bit too much, but car feels a little bit better now. Here's the rest of your starting grid for you looking on down through the line chase contenders didn't do too bad and most of us qualified in the top 20 as usual mark tricks has been the worst one to qualify out of the 12 of us a couple of the road course ringers montoya qualified 24th not so great robbie gordon also 22nd almondinger 40th driving for red bull mark martin won a couple weeks ago in the 0-1 car qualified 36 today it's a beautiful clear sunny day in nascar's homeland ready to set off on the first race on the charlotte roval here bringing it a decade Gate earlier. I'm ready to go. The drivers are excited. I'm freaking excited. I love all the detail in this custom track. There's a freaking Ferris wheel off over there in turn four. Got a whole fair going on here while the roval's going on. The attention to detail on the track where the bumps are and where like the, the banking is, even on the infield, like this track is smooth as hell. So if anyone that has created this track ever comes across this fucking video, that you did a good fucking job. I love this track so much and any of the other custom tracks you guys do. But we're going green flag, the inaugural Charlotte Roval here on the Smithers. NASCAR Racing Series underway. On Booty Bump Hamlin on the Heartburn turn, why not? Smooth turn one. Side by side with Newman right now. Stewart's taking off the lead, going through the infield. Dive, oh. Smack the 12 car out of the way, but got by, got the position. Just creeping outside the top five. Had a qualified eighth, moved up into sixth so far. Even though it says seventh, but it'll update there once we get to the line. Oh, one was coming back as we're getting outside of the infield. Come on, get up the banking, get up the banking, come on. Clear the 12, cool. Coming down to the first chicane here. Oop, locked up the right front a little bit. Downshift into one, don't rear on Gordon. Right up to his back bumper. Nice smooth chicane. Oh, didn't run on Gordon here. Can I get on his outside? Nope. He got away from me. I scrubbed off my speed. 
mow it down here. I really don't want to fucking overshoot any of these chicanes, get a black flag for corner cut, and that'll end my race right then and there. Also try not to use any of my competitors as a frickin' break. Lap one smoothly completed. Don't know how it went for anyone else in deeper in the field, but up here in the front went well. I'm gonna see what I can do to compete with these Hendrick Gibbs guys today. They seem to have the uh, the cars to beat on the Charlotte Roble. Stewart's out here, got a massive lead on Johnson. Hamlin in third, and then Kyle and Gordon round rounding out the uh, top five. Oh shit, Gordon got a little sideways there going into the scheme. Try and give these top dogs a run for their money a little bit. Come on, can I outbreak him? Oh, I'm coming in hot, Kyle. Oh shit, almost spun myself out. We're good, we're good. I don't need to be making too many mistakes. We don't have a whole lot of laps on this race. It's a long, long track, but only have uh, 17 total laps. We're already three laps on the third lap, so we're cooking right through them. Downship down to first. Get through the chicane. Around the turtles. Cut through the paint. Get back on track. Come on. I'm not keeping up to the 24 as close as I was. They're starting to pull away from me. Top three are gone. Stewart's already crossing the line for the next lap. Johnson Hamlin going through. Oh shit, I'm coming hot. Cut through the grass a little bit. Hopefully they don't black flag me. We're good. On the next lap. As long as I hug it close enough to those turtles, if I overshoot any of these chicanes, I think I'll be okay and not get a black flag, at least on the front stretch one. Not sure on the back straightaway on that chicane of how the rules apply to that. I'm able to hang on to six so far, four laps into this thing. Really trying to catch these Hendrick cars, but it's it's a uh, quite the uh, the equipment difference that I'm trying to compete against here. We're not as uh, tuned in as these Hendrick cars are on their home, well, on our home turf. Stewart's been on a hot streak since his engine bullshit, fucking turtle hopping. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Stewart, as I said, has been on a hot streak ever since his motor gave out in Dover and it basically sent him to the end of the, the points. He's trying whatever he can to get back up and in some sort of contention. He's been fighting. I'm fighting with him right now for uh, like ninth spot in the points, I think. Well, with him dominating, he's definitely going to overtake me regardless of me having a top 10 run today. I can't get my ass up there to get any laps led or a point on that. But I'll still be sniffing right up behind him come to these final five races. Closing it down onto the rookie season of my NR 2003 series. Definitely think anyone who stayed tuned and watching and interested hopped on board and subscribed to the channel. Thank you. Definitely still got more planned. Not gonna just stop with this season, gonna carry on into uh, the 2008 season, gonna might take a little break, as I said, wanna play some other games, maybe. Test Drive just came out with their demo, I'd really like to get some, uh, some recording done on that and see how that is. I haven't played a Test Drive game in a fucking decade since 2 came out. I found 2, like, in 2013 in a random local game shop that was uh, like a buy sell trade thing and the cover wasn't even on the game it was just blank and it was written in sharpie test drive unlimited 2 and that was enough for me it was about <laughs> cars and racing that's all i needed as a kid by god it was one of the best fucking open world racing games i had ever experienced got 12 to go in this charlotte roval race we're starting to get really strung out now i can't even catch gordon and kyle i can still see them they're 
they've pulled away from me quite a bit. Gordon's got two seconds on me, at least when he crossed the line on the last lap. Newman is dropping farther and farther behind my mirror, so we're kind of just running for lap times and maybe hoping for one of these guys up front to get held up by a, a slow lap car if we catch those before the end of this race. Oh, we're overshooting it. Stay up to the curb. I just don't want to get a black flag. That will kill my race, and we are having a good one today. I love road course racing. I've been excited to race these cars on this track since I've really wanted to put on the schedule. That's why. They're not great road course cars, but I thought it'd be quite fun to, to race on. Not doing half bad. Been a little inconsistent in the first half of this chase, and it's kind of put us in a hole and pretty much knocked us out of contention, so... Trying to work on that in the second half of this chase, build some momentum for this 10 team before the, the start of the next season. 2008, going to be running another another season on this 10, 10 car. I know I mentioned early on in the first couple of videos, I really didn't have like a specific like reason why I chose the 10 car other than it was one of the one of the guys running for rookie of the year that year and like as far as um, Patrick Carpentier, I probably butchered the fuck out of that last name, but um, that man racing part-time in this car was running for rookie of the year, I think, and based out of everyone else, I didn't want to like, I don't know, seemed the most reasonable and realistic, as if I was signing a contract to actually race for the Cup Series, like myself as a driver. Chose the 10 card or to sign on for, for a two-year contract. Like I said, at the end of next season, I'm gonna try and switch up my ride maybe for a better one, because as we all know, this 10 card doesn't last too much longer past that. So I will have to be looking for a, a new ride eventually. 12 car Newman caught up to me a little bit while I was rambling on and kind of got distracted talking about some shit and not focusing on putting the car where I need to as hard as possible every single lap. There we go, now I got a gap on him out of that chicane. Can we come across the line. It says nine to go up there on the top there. I'm not exactly, that's based on the leader. Oh shit, we're sending in hard into turn one. Scrip the wall a little bit. I thought I was about to fucking smack it. Doing good on fuel. I'm not gonna have to fucking pit for fuel. I was wondering about that, like as far as how uh, tire wear and fuel was gonna go on this track. It wasn't a very long race, like I said. I only made it 17 laps. Fuck, I'm running like asshole right now trying to figure this shit out. No, but I'm not gonna give it to you. When I get a second, I'm gonna try and look at the tires, see where my tire wear is at. I have it left the same settings as I always have it, so I'm not sure, like I said, when uh, exactly we'll be coming in for tires, or if at all, it might be one of those races where we don't pit, because it's a little bit too short. Freaking squealing that left front. Oh, around that whole fucking corner, goddamn. Oh fuck, now I overshot it. Okay, left front, definitely getting warm pretty bad. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Get back to where I need to go, refocus, shake off all of that. I was I was trying to split my focus three different ways and I was giving up track position time. I was giving up time on the track. Oh, turtle hopping again. Oh fuck. Hey, thanks Newman. Didn't give up too much though, I can get this back. Back here, Kenji. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna rear end you. Oh shit, I just Jimmy Johnson did. Fuck! I'm gonna try not get a black flag penalty. Regardless of how many spots I lose, how many we're we gonna have? Seven to go. Damn it! I pulled a fucking Johnson and I overshot the final corner. So I'm gonna break down this lap and see where it all went wrong. Coming down on the back chicane, came in a little bit hot, seeing I kind of locked it up a little bit earlier. Drifted it sideways, hopped over the turtle. Oopsie, Boyer got spun too, Edwards and Kurt back there, but I was sideways. Newman hit me in the front, right front, and got me pointed back in the right direction. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I got way loose and overcorrected, almost smacked the wall. My car is definitely for, I don't know, it runs rough up there on the high side. And then here I come down, got in the grass, couldn't slow down. I'm basically ice skating at that point. Rear ended the 17 car, pretty similar to Johnson and Truex in the inaugural 2018 race in real life. 
went back going again because I didn't want to get a black flag for cutting uh, across the, the infield there. I knew I would have. And yeah, that was that. That was the 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 terrible lap of the 10 car at Charlotte Roval. Well, there's some spice put into the race that's uh, been kind of quiet for the, the most part. Thought we were just going to have a nice smooth clean run to the finish. I fucked up both chicanes that lap. Holy shit. Well, we only fell back to 12th even after that massive mistake. I didn't give up too many spots other than maybe a top 10 if we don't go back green in time. Or if I fucked up my car from hitting Kenzel too hard. Or turtle hopping too many times, suspension's fucked. That was a wild lap for this 10 car. Woo! Wasn't even going plane down, coming down there. My left front still- oh geez. Well, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how many, uh, laps under caution we'll be running. Hopefully we only got like a, a green-white checkered two to go situation. As long as I don't blow a tire, I'll be okay. Had that happen at Kansas, and that's enough for me during these chase weeks. I don't know what the hell they're doing with the, the tires for me and this 10 team if they're putting them together with freaking bubble gum and duct tape. I just can't seem to hang on as much as the uh, the AI do sometimes, or I just am a poor manager at tire wear. Nobody's coming down, and neither am I. No, my tires are worn, but we're not going to have many laps to go when it comes time to green. I just hope they can hang on for however many laps we have left. Just got word over the radio, it'll be coming one to go here as we're in the back straightaway, so when we get pulled back around, it'll be uh, four to go. That has got me pretty damn nervous. I'm just hoping these tires last for four laps and I don't blow a fucking tire. I don't know if I should have pitted. I would have immediately sent myself to the back and would have been basically just hard charging, trying to make up whatever spots I could. Figured being in 12th, maybe I can outbreak a couple of people and just try my best to not cook on the tires and not lean on these front tires as much through the corners and maybe hopefully save them to the end gonna start unraveling on me on the last lap. Green flag back out, single file restart is gonna make this a lot easier than a double file. Less congested, we're underway. They're already sticking their nose out there up the front. I was too far back, I couldn't make a no move on anybody. I almost rounded Harvick though, trying to get up in there. Oh, there's a wreck in front of me! Kyle and Gordon, turn two! Caution's out, that might be the end of the fucking race right there! Double zero cars getting shoved out of the way. They must have had a couple of fucking lap cars up here. Go, 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 go. Come on, capitalize on this. Keep Edwards behind that double zero. He's holding up everybody. I think that chalked up the five and the, the, the 24. Oh, fuck. I just hit Kenseth again. <laughs> Damn it. He's going to come beat my ass. Oh, no. That's somebody who I don't want to be running into very much. Come on, get going. We just got to get back around to the line, and we might have uh, solidified our position here unless we just get another couple of caution laps. I'm like, I'm going to keep the mind open. We might have to run two more laps. That caution's going to knock out some some laps here. We're coming in hot. Mark's blocking uh, some spots here. Might be able to get out, capitalize. Come on. Get out of here. Get to the back of Biffle. Come on, don't let Hamlin bully you. Oh, shit. I got loose. Oh, no, oh, no. The Hamlin, oh. Get off me, fuck. No, oh, all those spots I just gained, no. Put it in reverse. I'm gonna get in one of these spots, damn it. Ah. Oh. Jesus, stop hitting me now. Well, we're in 20th. <laughs> It's okay, Ken's. It's karma got me back. I gotta get up here where, uh, where I freaking went reverse to get my spot. I think my uh, my chances out of top 10 um, <laughs> swiped into a 20th place finish there in the lap. Whoops. If that isn't the story of how shit's been going on right now, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm trying, bud, but it, it, it's fucking tough right now. This is where I'm supposed to be, I'm sure. So first off, we're gonna focus on what initially brought out the yellow flag, which was the five and the 24 here. I can already assume this double zero, which was a lap car, just checked everyone up. They got going, yep, held up Hamlin. Ooh, Hamlin just turned him right into the inside wall and that caused Kyle to go to the outside. Ooh, they all smacked the fucking outside wall. Damn. 
Take a look at Hamlin's onboard. See, Johnson immediately dives down, says, I'm not having any of this shit with this slow ass rookie. Hamlin's all up, lifts his rear tires off the ground. And that sends the five up into the wall on the outside. Collects the 24 with him, brings out the caution. And then just a little bit later, as we're getting through the infield, poor Matt Kenseth, I booty bumped him again, sent him right off into the infield grass, and basically dropped him right back down to the end of the field. So, again, my bad, Matt Kenseth, somebody who I really didn't want to uh, get into, have a, have some beef with. But now we got some beef with uh, Matt Kenseth, and that's never a good sign. And clearly, Matt Kenseth's got somebody watching out for him, because Karma came back instantly at the end of the same lap. I was trying to figure out how to maybe get by Hamlin, Mark, and Biffle to get three extra spots there, and they were all blocking me. I was trying to find some room, and they all kind of shoved me into the fucking grass. I couldn't stop. Hamlin ran into me, picked me up off the ground, wouldn't get off of me. I was trying to get going, got heavy on the throttle, got reared by the double zero of all people again, and then at this point, I just said fuck it, because I was close enough to the line trying to get, yeah, get across the line so I can solidify my position, and... Yeah, that caused a bunch of fucking chaos. Oh, what a lap that was, huh? I'm curious to see if we're gonna like run a lap or something. I don't know how the um, the caution the caution's gonna run. I understand pit road's open. Oh, something's coming down Harvick. That's the spot. How's our tires? Not looking great, especially after me spinning out and burning it down on the front straightaway in reverse, trying to get across to the line. Probably should come down and get tires, but I I really just. Oh, what the fuck's happening? Anyway, as I was saying before all that shit happened, I hope these tires can last if we go green for a lap or two. I don't know, we'll find out once we get to this back straightaway. Caution lights are still on. This race might be official. Yep, this race will be official as long as everyone stays where they are under caution pace. For one more time around Charlotte Roval, this will be how we finish. Doing pretty good with finishing races under green, but um, yeah, this one kind of turned into chaos towards the end, mainly because I was all over the place. I overshot both chicanes. Looks like Stewart had the dominant car today. I mean, at the beginning of the race, he took off from us. He had a freaking two or three second gap on Johnson. There was nobody catching that orange 20 car today. He had something special under that hood for this race. I'll probably lose a spot to him after finishing 19th. I gained one spot on Harvick. Checkered flag at the Charlotte Roval. Race ended under yellow. It was going pretty smooth at first. Definitely was having fun running around the track and had a good top 10 car. And then it all, uh, mistakes started happening towards the end there. What can you do? It was our, our first time here. I definitely know what to expect for next year. Or if I decide to maybe just do the normal Charlotte race. I don't know. We'll see if I bring the Charlotte Roval back next year. You'll just have to uh, let me know with your, your input, your likes. Leave a like if you want the Charlotte Roval back for the COT season 2008. Since the race did under caution and I did pretty much go over my final green flag lap of this race and we know who won, the guy who got the pole pretty much led the entire race, Tony Stewart. I'm uh, not going to do a Smithers one to go this video. I apologize, but um, I'm going to go put the finishing order into my points and see where uh, everyone's at after uh, halfway through this 2007 chase. Oh shit. When Boyer spun out behind me there on the back chicane, that took him out of the fucking race. He finished 42nd. That'll uh, open up a, a window for me, because he was ahead of me. We have now hit the halfway mark in my 2007 NR chase for the Sprint Cup. Five races in, five races to go, and what do you know, Jimmy Johnson the 48 has creeped his way up to the lead, and he has got over a race. 72 point gap on second place Kurt Busch in the number two car for Penske. Gordon and Kyle Busch dropped a spot, and Kurt gained on those guys after uh, Kyle and Gordon wrecked in turn two after the double zero kind of holding up the whole field there towards the end of the race. Stewart gained a shit ton of spots with his dominating performance at the inaugural Charlotte Roval. He got the pole, led every single fucking one of those 17 laps, and finished across the line in first place. I'm sure if the caution hadn't come out, he would have been like 10, 12 seconds ahead of the field. He was like gone within five seconds within the first fucking two laps. I, I saw him. He was so far ahead of Johnson, and no one was catching that 20 car today. He has been hard charging trying to get back up to the front 
ever since that blown motor at Dover, and he is doing that pretty damn well. He has gained six spots with that performance at the Roval. He's now in fifth spot in the points. We're right behind him in sixth, gained three spots with somehow 20th place finish. We capitalized on uh, some of these chase contenders not even finishing the race today. I saw that Boyer in the 07 finished dead last today in the race. I, I know that he spun out in the chicane right behind me on the back stretch there when I had my worst lap of the race, and he got ran into by Edwards, and I believe somebody else, one of the other chase contenders, and I don't know if that just screwed all three of those guys out of uh, a, a good finish. Moving on down, Matt Kenseth lost two spots, Harvick lost four spots, and Martin Truex Jr. lost two. A lot of switch up throughout the entire chase. Newman in the 12 finally got himself out of the 12th spot in the chase, which we haven't seen from that bright blue Penske Dodge at all this chase. He's finally uh, creeping in, but it's probably a little bit too late now that we're halfway through. He's gonna be someone I'm competing with for, for positions here soon. He's only um, about seven. 20 points away, 2019. Edwards is only 10 points behind me. Stewart's got 30 something, 33 points on me. Let me know what you think of the uh, Charlotte Roval with the Gen 4 cars on NR 2003. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear feedback from anyone that watches this series. I really do. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good week. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>